Hey, welcome to this video where I would like to talk about the recent shift in my perception which has helped me tremendously with my art. I used to struggle a lot with hating how my paintings turn out when I finish them. I couldn't even decide if it's really finished or not because in my mind it never was. But why was that? As I began asking this question and diving deeper into myself, I finally got my answer. And I wasn't satisfied with my paintings because I was fixated on only one thing, which was how to make them look better. But I didn't even know what that meant. There was no clear way to tell if my painting is getting better or not because in my mind it never was. I was always trying to fix it and I didn't even know if it was actually fixed or not or finished or not because again in my mind it never was. Now I want to clarify something right here. First let's see what's the bigger picture here. I have a painting that I want to finish and I want to make the best as possible which is what most artists want to do. But at the same time I'm struggling hardly having any fun while painting it and I'm not even satisfied with the finished result. But at some point I just accept it and move on. Maybe the next painting I will finally have fun and it will make me happy. Now what is my mind fixated on right here? It's fixated on improvement. Basically stating that the painting I create is not perfect so I shall put my whole effort in trying to force it to be perfect. Meaning my mind is always seeing imperfection in the painting and I believe this is where most of the struggle comes in and the pain. Now let's ask the question, is that actually true? Is my painting actually not perfect? And of course the mind is quick to answer, well of course it's not. Look at the eyes over here, they're not in proportion, the nose is too big or the shadow is too dark, the lines are too messy, what will other people say about it, they will see all of your mistakes. But let me ask you this question, so what? So what if it's not perfect to the standards of your mind, it can be perfect to you? Because I want you to ask this question, does your mind actually 100% knows the truth? Can you trust your mind when it says that the painting you create is not perfect? Where is actually this imperfection that the mind likes to talk about so much? If we look into nature, do you see any imperfection there? All the life on earth is basically dependent on the sun. If the sun was not shining, we couldn't even live. Isn't that perfection? Or from a single seed a whole tree is grown. Isn't that perfection also? You are basically born with everything that you need. You have your eyes, you have your hands. You just have to observe and learn and draw anything that you desire. But it's a learning process. Although you already got everything that you need. Isn't that also perfect? So you see, imperfection doesn't actually exist anywhere apart from your mind. If we live in a perfect world, maybe your painting is not imperfect Maybe you're in the process of learning how to paint perfect paintings, but then wouldn't every painting be a step towards that goal? How could you call it imperfect? All wonderful questions that I'm just here to present to you and you're welcome to inquire. And I hope you get relieved from your struggle as well. So now let's do a quick test. I want you to look around your room for about 10 to 15 seconds and count all the green objects in your room. Now pause the video and do it. All right, hope you did that. And now I want you to tell me how many red objects did you see? You didn't see any, right? Well, that's because you fixated your mind on only seeing the green objects. So imagine what that does when you fixate your mind to look only for the imperfections and mistakes in your drawing. What do you think you're gonna see? You're basically blocking yourself from seeing all the perfection and beauty that you create. So here is my change in perception that helped me not only finish my paintings, but also have a lot more fun while painting them. I simply state that everything I create is good enough. Everything is a learning process. I draw what I feel like drawing and I let my emotions be expressed freely on the canvas. And sure, sometimes it doesn't end up looking great, but that's all part of the learning experience. You gotta trust the process. It is the simple shift in perception that you no longer look how to fix your mistakes, you no longer look for the imperfections, but you sit down, enjoy yourself and create something beautiful. And although it's simple, it's very difficult at the beginning, as is with everything. Now I wanted to know why is that even the case? Why do we have this innate drive in us to constantly improve and seek how to fix ourselves? And now I just want you to imagine this scenario for example. 
Let's say you're five years old and your mom buys you ice cream, but suddenly you drop it on the ground and you get some on your shirt. Now your mom sees you and what does she say in this moment? It's probably something along the lines of, oh you poor little child, look at yourself, you just dropped your ice cream, you're so clumsy, you shouldn't have done that, you should behave yourself better. Now you don't have an ice cream, I have to get the stain off your shirt, do you know how hard it is? And she's probably yelling at you or whatever. And then if you're like me, you probably start crying and sad because you dropped your ice cream and because your mom yells at you. What is this causing you to think in this moment? It's probably something like, oh, I'm not good enough. I can't hold my ice cream properly. I need to do better. I need to improve. My mom says I'm clumsy. And this is very funny, but when you are five years old, this seems very true to you. So you actually start believing that. And then what happens? More of these experiences just stack up on each other and an identity is formed. What does this identity believe? Oh, I'm not good enough. I need to improve myself. I need to fix this. There is something wrong with me. And there you go. Now this identity keeps perpetuating itself in all of your life experiences, including drawing and waits for you to see it and accept it. And that's not bad. It's here to teach you something about yourself, something deeper. And if you contemplate this enough, you might actually start seeing that the one who needs the improvement doesn't actually exist apart from the concept in your mind. As Einstein said, we can't fix our mistakes with the same thinking that created them. Simply said, if you always look how to fix your mistakes, you keep finding mistakes to fix. But if you look how to have fun and learn drawing, you will find more ways to have fun, express yourself and learn joyfully. And that's all that I'm saying is that you can absolutely remove all the pressure you put in yourself because it really is unnecessary and you can still do amazing drawings, even more amazing than you can imagine. So this is all that I did, simply shifting my perspective from I'm not good enough at drawing, I need to constantly improve myself so I can finally be happy to no, 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 I'm actually happy right now. I'm just sitting down and I'm here to create something beautiful. And that doesn't mean that you will just start drawing mindlessly and your drawings will be full of mistakes, but exactly the opposite. Because you're happy right now, you will naturally want to express that happiness on the canvas and you will naturally try your best. The improvements will happen on their own. As I've said, we're just removing all the pressure and worrying. Like Eckhart Tolle said, worry only pretends to be necessary but serves no useful purpose. So that's all I did. I just recognized that before I was creating from a place of fear, thinking I'm not good enough and I should do better. Because why would you seek to improve yourself if you don't believe you're not good enough in the first place? Would you really care about improvement if you knew you're good enough and you're always trying your best? And now I'm creating from a place of love because I truly love to be an artist and I'm truly passionate about my craft. I accept who I am and I'm okay with it. My art level doesn't define me. All right, and now I would like to compare two of my works, this one on the left, which was before, and this one on the right, which is after I applied this uh, whole new mindset and way of thinking. And I wanna put a disclaimer out there that none of these paintings is better or worse. I'm just comparing them for me and what I like to do and what, how I like to paint and where do I want to go with my art. So that's all. So from the start, what I can say is that over here, I kind of felt stuck before. I kind of felt like I couldn't really express myself and I had to follow all of these rules and everything had to be perfect. I couldn't really venture out into what I like or what I don't like. I couldn't even know that because there was only one way of painting. And it also took me a lot longer time to finish because every part had to be polished to perfection. And I remember while I was painting it, I had almost no fun. And now when I look at this painting on the right that I did, uh, I did it in less time and immediately I feel so much happiness even looking at it and I remember how joyful it was to paint it and explore all of these uh, different things although it might seem like the hands are a bit off like compared to this hand right here so you can see the anatomy on the left could be more correct but I think it's worth sacrificing that to really 
explore what you kind of like once you kind of have a basic idea of the fundamentals and how they work so it's a balance another thing i would like to mention is that in the painting on the left there is a lot of stiffness it just doesn't have this playful energy and i remember while i was painting it i couldn't really enjoy it and see all the beauty in it because i was focusing only on making it perfect and improving it and at some areas i wasn't happy with how it turned out but at some point i just gave up on trying to make them perfect and just accepted it and move on and then the painting on the right i was a lot more free in the process i think that's kind of noticeable in the hair and in the clothing as well and this whole shape right here on the back i'm kind of exploring and letting the this playfulness be on the canvas and not being afraid of having messy shapes and really seeing what i like not not being afraid to explore so i feel like that's about it and once you truly accept your art you might even go into more of a messy approach a more of a approach that seems to make your paintings appear that they're not that great as your paintings before but I believe this is all part of the process because you can't really know your art style. You can't really know what you like if you don't go and explore and have that this messiness and fun in your painting. So that's about it for this video. And remember, just always follow your excitement and don't be afraid to explore. Even if it seems like you're failing, you're really not. I can promise you that. Oh,